welcome back to my channel. So today's makeup tutorial is going to be on this look right here. I did a really bronzy brown um, lid color with a really pretty green eyeshadow for under the bottom lash line. And I matched it with a pink nude lip. I hope you guys really enjoy this makeup tutorial. And if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so my face is already moisturized and prepped, but I'm actually going to go on with my eyes first, as usual. Um, I always like to prefer to do my eyes if I'm doing lots of different colors. Usually the only time I don't do my eyes first is if I'm doing, like, a quick five minute, five minute, because we all know it takes me a lot longer than five minutes to get ready, where I just do something real quick, um, something that doesn't really require a lot of shadow. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to start with the eyes. I already have the tape um, lined up, and I'm just using uh, regular scotch tape. Next, I'm going in with my Milani eyeshadow primer. And for the first transition shade, I'm going in with my Makeup Geeks Crumb Brulee and my Morphe eyeshadow blending brush. And I'm just going to put this into the crease area. And again, if I'm looking this way, that's because I have my mirror here. Go in with my Jaclyn Hill Morphe Favorites palette, and I'm going to use this really light shade right here. It's very similar to the Creme Brulee one. Um, it's just a smidge uh, darker and more pink. And then I'm going to use my Morphe 35R palette. I'm going to go with something a little bit more darker, which is this shade down here. And I'm just going to focus this more on that outer crease. So in the crease, but on the outer corner. And then for the lid shade, I'm going to use my Maybelline New York eyeshadow little quad. And this is the uh, 70 copper one. I'm going to go in with this darkest shade right here, and I'm going to put that all over the lid using my um, Royal Manacle brush. And of course, I'm going to spray it with my Project Beauty Spray Set Go. Love this spray. And I'm just going to put this all over the lid. So I want more of like a lighter um, center lid color. So I'm gonna go in with my Blink Electrics Eye Palette um, from BoxyCharm. And I'm gonna go in with this really pretty pinkish light shade right here. And the Royal Lanical Brush. And I'm just gonna focus this on the very middle of the lid. I'm going to go back in with the quad and my e.l.f. smudger brush and I'm going to take that dark shade and put this on the inner and outer corner of my eye. I went to the store today and picked up a couple things. Um, and one of the makeup items I picked up was the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. Um, this is only like a couple bucks, I want to say, at the drugstore. Um, I got it in the color black, of course. And this is my first time using it. Um, but I looked up the reviews, and there's pretty good reviews on this. So I figured, why not? Okay, so it looks like this. Just a little black um, liner. This is what the little sponge looks like. It is like a spongy tip. It is pretty pointy, so let's see how it works. I am going to do wing liner again today.
Okay, so I actually really like how the liner turned out. Um, they're very even, um, which is very unusual. Most of the time my liner is not even, um, but it looks really good. It's really black. Um, so I like it. I think this liner is um, pretty good. It just doesn't look like it holds a lot. Um, and the only other complaint is that the brush itself isn't very long. It's very, it's very short. So you have to be real, real precise with it. I mean, with liner, I think that's how you normally have to be. So I really like this. I think it's worth the three or four dollars so far. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara for the top lashes. I'm just gonna do one thin layer on top. what you guys I got lashes so I'm gonna go in with these glam ones today um just because um I usually like to save these ones for if I'm going out or like special occasions brand new pair so I'm super excited um so I'm gonna pop these on real quick um it'll take a minute since I have to like measure them and all that stuff so I'm gonna pop them on and I'll be right back okay so while the lashes are drying they are on um but while they're drying I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my face so first, because my skin needs some hydration, it has been a little dry the past couple days, um, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Hangover Primer. Excuse my nails, a girl needs to get them done. So I'm just putting this all over my face. I love this primer because it feels so good on your skin, especially with when you have really dry skin feels so good but as far as breakouts and all that it doesn't really do much um so I am gonna go in with the baby skin primer put some on my hand and rub this also into my skin And then for foundation today, I'm going to go in with my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. And I am in the shade 05 Warm Beige. I'm going to use my Morphe Foundation Brush. Put this all over the skin. I'm going to take my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and I love using this to push it into my skin because it helps give it that natural and flawless um, coverage. Next for concealer. I'm going to use two, and the first one is the Milani Retouch and Erase Concealer in the shade Light. I was going to use two. I was going to go in with my Tarte one, um, but I really like how this foundation or how this concealer looks with this foundation. I don't think I've ever paired them. Um, they're both Milani, so go figure. You think it would look great together. Um, but I don't think I've ever paired them two together. For cream contour, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Makeup Stick Contour. And this is in the shade 805 Call Me Maple. That's cute. I love how creamy this product is. It feels so good on the skin. Um, I did put a lot, but that's because this foundation, once you blend it out, it goes away. Like it blends so, uh, oh, uh, it blends so easily. See, look at that side. Right, look how natural it looks compared to that side, right? There's so much product, but it blends out so even, evenly and so natural. It's so beautiful. So 
So next I'm going to go in with my RCMA translucent powder and my pink pure sponge and I'm going to set under the eyes. And then while I let that bake a little bit, um, I didn't put a lot on today, just kind of dusted it on my face. Um, nothing perfect or pretty or precise. Um, but while I'm letting that bake, I'm going to go in with another Milani product. And that is the Powder Foundation in the shade 03 Natural. My big Morphe foundation brush. I'm really going to put a lot of product on this brush. to finish my eyes so I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna use green under my eyes um, why not add some color right so I'm gonna use this green it's a L'Oreal Paris um, little individual and it's a uh, it's in the shade 212 green permanent 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 and it looks like this. It's very, very, very pretty. I love this color. I've used it many times before. My Crown Smudger Brush. This is the C513 brush. I actually never realized that this had a number on it. Isn't that weird? Like, I use this all the time, and I never noticed. So I'm going to use this to pack on that green. Very heavily, I would say. And then, of course, I'm going to spray just so that there's um, less fallout too. And I'm just gonna run this all the way down the lash line. I'm going to lightly brush the Makeup Geeks Creme Brulee um, right under it just for any harsh lines. Very, very, very lightly. So I'm really tapping it off. I never actually went in and coated my top lashes, so I'm going to do that now real quick. And I'm going to use my favorite L'Oreal Lash Paradise. But you already know. And then I think I'm also going to use it for my bottom lashes. Because why not? So uh, excuse me while I get up close and personal with myself in the mirror. I'm going to do my brows next. I completely forgot to do them. How weird. I don't know if I made it clear in my last video, but this is the Winky Lux um, brand duo eyebrow um, wand. So you have this fully on one side and the thick crayon on the other side. And I actually really, really, really like this. Like, this is probably the easiest thing that I've ever used as far as my brows. You guys, I've used so many eyeshadows. I've actually used the Anastasia um, brow whiz and I felt like it just didn't fill in my brows enough. Um, this is super thick, super perfect, amazing. Um, I know that Anastasia has one like this that is super thick as well, but I just haven't picked it up yet. I don't know. I don't like to spend money, um, a lot of money on makeup, which is why I don't really do it um, unless I really need some. So I'm just going to go in and do my brows real quick. As you guys can see, I do do my brows. Do, do, do. <laughs> up. I do do my brows, um, definitely thicker, um, I don't shade them in and try to make them thicker, my brows are just naturally thicker, so I kind of just outline them and blend it and that's about it to be honest. So now that my eyes are done, actually just about done, I need some inner corner highlight. <sighs> what inner corner highlight do I want though? Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Milani Baked Eyeshadow in the shade 16 Bella Champagne. Love this shadow. Jeez, it's like everything I'm using almost is uh, Milani. That's because it's a great drugstore brand. I love, I love my Milani products. Love them. Now that we got that shimmer in the inner corner, I'm going to go in with bronzer. 
bronzer. Actually, contour. We're gonna contour the face first. So, we're using this bad boy right here. That's my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. Such a long name, but you guys already know. And I'm actually going to use my Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. I'm gonna start with this middle shade right here. For blush, again, Milani. Do you like how I kind of set this whole Milani video up? I'm going with my Real Techniques brush. That I am going to highlight very, very little. Like I'm not even gonna spray my face before because I don't want it to be like a beaming, crazy glow. I got Carly Bible highlighting palette. This is the first one that she came out with. Um, it's the one I use all the time. And I'm just gonna use this and this color. Tapping it off and very lightly putting it, um, making that greater than sign on up my face. Okay, and for lips, lastly, I'm going in with my Milani product again. I swear, you guys, this was an accident. I did not mean to use so many Milani products, but they just all spoke to me today. So I'm going in with a Milani lipstick in the shade Matte Darling 74. Just going to pat it on. I'm just gonna go over it so it's not so pink. I'm gonna go over it with my Wet Mild Barrett All Nude Lip. Okay guys, so this is a completed look. I hope you guys like it a lot. I really love how it turned out. I forgot how much I love this foundation. This concealer looks flawless. Um, I think the skin looks so good. I loved the cream contour that I did and you know I just I love everything about this look if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel thank you for checking me out if you are new and then don't forget to hit that bell next to the subscribe button that way you get notified every single time that I post a video and until next time I'll see you guys soon bye My, my bed? My bed. My bed. No, my big... Jeez. Oh, it's a duo, um... It's a... What is this? What is this? What are you? What is this? I was saying, um... So, I have really pushy Okay. Let's be honest, they're not my favorite. I don't... Fairford? Why can't I ever talk in my videos? Like, I don't understand it.